Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant and today on Know Your Local Species, let's discover more about mud puppies. The mud puppy is the only completely aquatic salamander in Canada. It is also the largest salamander species in the country. Mud puppies are gray to rusty brown on top with dark blue spots and a gray belly. They have red feathery external gills and only four toes on both of the front and hind feet. The eyes of other salamanders, the mud puppy's eyes are relatively small with respect to the size of its head. Juvenile mud puppies range in color from orange to black with long yellow stripes. The mud puppy can grow almost 50 centimeters in length including its tail. Given the large size, mud puppies cannot be confused with any other salamander. Even larval mud puppies are typically at least twice as large as the larvae of other salamanders. Mud puppies live in lakes, rivers, streams, and large bodies of water. They can be found in muddy, weedy, choked streams up to 30 meters below the surface. During the day, mud puppies usually hide under rocks. The mud puppy breeds in spring. In May or June, the female lays about 30 to 190 eggs at one time on the underside of submerged rocks or logs. The female guard the eggs until they hatch in two months. The larvae are approximately two centimeters long when they hatch and take four to six years to transform into adult salamanders. Mud puppies are primarily nocturnal, so that means they are most active at night. They are carnivores and forage year-round for worms, fish eggs, aquatic insects, crayfish, and small fish. Individuals that survive to adulthood with have few natural enemies and can live for over 30 years. Other common names are water dog. Poor water quality is a threat to many animals, but especially to totally aquatic ones like the mud puppy. Anglers occasionally catch mud puppies, especially in winter, possibly because ice fishing for whitefish, a bottom feeder, brings bait hooks down to the mud puppy's domain. Other mechanical intrusions such as dredging, commercial fishing nets, boat propellers kill mud puppies. Despite these threats, the mud puppy is not known to be in significant decline. The mud puppy is currently listed as a not at risk species by the Committee of Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada. Okay, thank you for listening and learning more about the mud puppy. If you haven't been into the library, make sure you pop in and borrow some wonderful resources.